Hey everybody, how are you today? So I'm gonna take in some DoorDash orders because that's all I ever take. But it's actually like really nice out. It's like 65 degrees here in San Antonio. Stop it, get some help. It's literally been like 90 degrees up until like the other day. So it's so nice and this makes it a lot easier to delivery drive. When your butt and your back isn't super sweaty. Am I right, you guys? Anyway, uh, I got my first order to Chick-fil-A. It's $6 for 3.3 miles, delivering to a house. And if I could take Chick-fil-A orders, in Chipotle and like Panera orders like all day I totally would here at least in my area they're always ready most of the time it's like I've noticed with Chick-fil-a if anybody orders a spicy chicken sandwich I'm probably gonna be waiting a few minutes ah! and it was ready like always Just got one for crumble cookies for $10 for 10.6 miles, so we're not taking that one. Ooh. So I just got ordered Lupe Tortilla for 2.5 miles for $5, which I wouldn't normally take because it's so short. But the orders I've gotten in like the past few minutes haven't been that great. And I know DoorDash likes to not give you orders for a while if you don't take any. So I'm just gonna take this one and then hopefully there'll be some better orders after this. Let's do this. Hello. Hi. I have a pickup for Maria B. That one right there. Right? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Second order already ready. Let's hope it stays like this all day. So I dropped that order off and now I'm at Panera just waiting for another order. Is this happening to you guys? Maybe it's just me, but I feel like DoorDash is constantly dinging me. Hello. Like I'll have an order and I'll get, I'll be on my way to pick it up and they'll ding me like at least two or three times. Hello. Just randomly so i'm expecting like i got a message from the customer so i'll go check the app and there's nothing there they like to ding me especially when i'm about to drop off the order i've mentioned this in my videos before it's like dude if i'm literally right there by their house why are you dinging me like obviously i'm dropping off the order doordash or are you trying to get me into a car accident maybe there's a lot of people that pick up the order and then they just kind of goof around and then they take forever to drop it off so they do it to everybody i don't know but it's really annoying and lately they've been like texting me that i have an order but then i look in the app and i don't have an order it's just the text saying i have an order like it'll say you have an order to free birds world burrito and i look in the app and there's nothing there and i'm just like what are you doing it's so distracting i hope today is an interesting day where i get like a cash tip or i don't know i see a car accident something we saw like a really bad car accident the other day it was like a bmw this kid was driving a nice bmw and he ran into the back of a truck and the whole front of the bmw was smashed they were all okay but i saw that and i was like why can't this happen on the day i filmed uh i'm gonna have to come back at like 5 p.m because i didn't know that i had my dash scheduled until like 1 30 or 1 o'clock today and then i had scheduled again for 5 p.m so i made 11:50 in an hour and 44 minutes Ooh! which is literally nothing so hopefully it's better by tonight i'll see you guys later i'm back to dash for dinner and it's funny because like the area i'm in isn't even the area i dash in like they just ding me when i'm not even dashing just to ding me just to be like hey. Hello. it's us don't forget about us I feel like they just do it all the time. I randomly get them when I'm not even doing DoorDash. It's just to remind me that they're there. It's like that annoying boss that's in your life even when you're at home. It's like constantly calling you or messaging you when you're at home. That's what DoorDash is. They're like that doctor at the hospital that pages you when you're at home with your family and tells you you have to come back into work. That's what DoorDash is. There's been like so much traffic, you guys. I got like a couple orders, but they weren't good. Like one was like BJ's and 54th Street for like $10 for 10 miles. Cause I mean, that's two orders for dollar per mile ratio. There might have been a hidden tip, but it, was, it wasn't worth it. And then like another one was like $3 for four miles, but I want to find somewhere else to dash. And I feel like I keep saying that, but I think I might try Almo Heights or maybe downtown, but I don't know. It's like anybody who lives in San Antonio is downtown like really bad. Oh, hold on. I got mod pizza. Okay, I got 3.8 miles for 6.75. So I guess I'll just take that one. Yeah. Uh, Brenda R. Thank you. Thank 
I haven't gotten anything else. I'm just waiting. Is, isn't this like the time of year where the DoorDash orders go down? You think they would go up because it's like gonna get cold. I remember last year the pickings were pretty sparse, but last year was COVID. So, and there was, I think a lot less workers. So maybe this year won't be as bad. I've only made about 19, like almost $20 today. Yeah. Hoping to make at least 40. So we'll see how that goes. Let's look at all those cars. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know how to zoom in on my GoPro. <laughs> you think I would know by now, but yeah, there's like a whole bunch of cars over there. That line normally is not that long. It's no, there's normally not even a line there. Yay! Now we just got BJ's for 10 miles for 10.50 to climb. It's just horrible orders, you guys. Oh, I got something else. It's doghouse for 5.75 for 5.2 miles, dude. It's gonna be a 20 minute video of me declining orders. <laughs> I should start doing like Instacart. I actually signed up for Instacart today, but I don't know what happened. Let me look. Oh, app update required. So I might do Instacart. I heard Instacart, like they can bring you out to your car or something. You don't have to go in and shop. So I might try that. Cause I think my biggest hang up is just the shopping part. It overwhelms me the thought of going into like Walmart or Target and shopping for people's items. I have another word. No, Panda, oh my gosh, no. $12 for 12 miles, you guys, this is ridiculous. I don't understand. Do any of you guys take these orders? If you do, let me know. No, not these. If you guys take the like $12 for like six miles. Wait. I mean, the 12, the 12 miles for $6. If you do, or if you're known to on occasion, like in the comments below, tell me why. I heard that DoorDash, every time they send the order to somebody, they give you an extra 25 cents until somebody takes it or something. Or they add an extra 25 cents until somebody takes it. So it's like, do they just do that until somebody actually takes it? Oh my gosh. Winks up and free birds, you guys. 10.9 miles for 11.36. I might have to like end this, honestly. This is not a good day. I have another one, Potbelly Sandwich Shop. 6.50 for not telling me how many miles. I might just get some food and go home because I'm not getting anything. All right, well, I think I'm gonna go home because I'm literally, I'm not even getting anything, so. And I'm getting hungry, so I hope you guys have a good night. Don't forget to like this video, even though I just rambled on basically the whole time. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.